Uh, we're going to talk to Lee Buckler, great first name, by the way, who is the CEO of, I want to make sure I say this right, Replicel, is that right? Replicel Life Science. Replicel. Right, okay, Replicel. And what Replicel basically is, is you're working with stem cells, correct? That's correct. All right. So I've always said this, maybe I'm way off the bay, the beam here, but I've always said, certainly not in our lifetime, sadly, maybe not even your kids or your grandkids' lifetime, but somewhere down the road, people are going to be living to 200, 250 years, 300 years old. I, I just think that will happen eventually. It may not be the best thing for the planet, but it, I do see... You know, technology evolving and healthcare evolving to the point where we're going to be able to fix stuff. And I think we're going to do that. And, and this is a big part of that, correct? That's absolutely right. Yeah. I mean, yes. All right. So what exactly is it that you do you take cells from a person and re-inject them? Or you take them from some, how does the, uh, what, 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 what's the actual process? So I think, you know, the, the, the beauty of us, of us having now a deep understanding of the cell and the, and the materials inside the cell is there's an explosion of ideas being um, um, generated into medicine and the products and potential treatments um, about ways to use cells um, to treat people's ailments, to treat people's conditions, um, even to regenerate cell uh, tissues or organs or to restore their function. Uh, um, in ways that, you know, before we could only ever imagine. I mean, we've got kids living right now with bladders that were printed in a, in a, in a printing machine Incredible. using their own cells. Incredible. So the, the short answer to your question is sometimes we use the patient's own cells, sometimes we use donor cells, um, and, um, and we manufacture a product which looks differently depending on what we're looking to do. Sometimes it's genetically modifying, sometimes it's just growing that's more of these cells. Sometimes it's tweaking the cells in a way and then reintroducing those cells or introducing those cells into the patient in a way which, you know, makes sure the cells get throughout the whole body if we're talking about systemic condition or, or injects it locally into the affected area um, to do things which we're just not able to accomplish by surgery or pills. So my, my mom recently died of the small cell lung cancer, and, you know, th- it was just horrible to, to, to watch her go through that. And, Sorry to hear that. Hey, well, thank you. And you guys are working amazing, amazing stuff. With, I mean, a lot of folks die of, of lung cancer. It's one, if it's not the number one, it's, I think it is the number one cancer, correct? It is, it okay. is very deadly. All right, so, I mean, I, I know you guys are at the cutting edge of this. What, what exactly is going on there? How are you fighting this particular disease? One of the most exciting areas um, 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 in, in, in cell therapy and regenerative medicine, which is what we call this sort of the, 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 you know, the umbrella term for this, for this, for this sector right now, is, uh, is in the area of cancer, particularly blood-borne cancers right at the moment as opposed to tumor um, um, cancers. But, um, you know, it's, 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 it's under this notion of what we call immunotherapy. And essentially what it does is instead of, um, instead of trying to attack the tumor itself or attack the cancer itself, what it does is it, is it educates the patient's own immune system to do what it naturally does in all of us who are healthy, and that is attack the cancer that is presented. And so there's a number of ways to do that. We're seeing really exciting results the last few days with um, antibody therapies that essentially modulate the immune system. We also have some tremendously exciting data, you know, patients, um, 80% patients, 90% patients in complete remission from their cancer with a cell-based approach where we essentially genetically modify the patient's own immune system cells and reintroduce those genetically modified cells to attack cancer in a, in a, in a very successful way. And, and, and this, is, this, is, this is presenting new opportunities for cancer treatment that, um, you know, that, that, that we've never seen before. Again, we're talking uh, this morning, very special guest joining us, Lee Buckler. Again, uh, Replicel is the name of, of the company. Where can folks find out more about that before I forget? So uh, our company is at Replicel, R-E-P-L-I-C-E-L dot com. Um, for other more general information about regenerative medicine or cell therapy, one can look at the Industry Association based in Washington, D.C., AllianceRM.com. Uh, uh, um, 
um, for more general information about what's happening in the, in the sector broadly. Now, again, you're fighting cancer. There's also a, a you know a wide range of other things that you're doing actually to fight, like uh, repairing tendons and injuries and muscles and things of that nature. So we were talking briefly off the air about Bartolo Colon, who's like 60 years old, pitching in the big leagues, <laughs> and uh, and he actually he had this stem cell, he had cell, uh, some stem cell. Uh, scenario done with him and can you just break that down what happened with him and how that all works yeah so you know we've been playing around now you know for a while with this notion that you know um, using cells might be able to accomplish um uh, repair in in the human body in a way that you know surgery just can't i mean we've had some tremendous um you know um improvements with tommy john um surgeries but it's you know it takes guys out for a long time and, you know, we are looking at the opportunity to use the patient's own cells to repair tendon. Tendon is particularly composed of these collagen strands. The cells that we're working with are highly expressive of collagen. And we've seen um, tremendous repair or regeneration of chronically injured tendon. These are people who've been out for a long time um, and, and have availed themselves of other types of, all other types of, um, of treatments and not seen any results. So, you know, with Bartolo, you know, he unfortunately had to do what a lot of Americans are doing right now, and that's go offshore for treatments that aren't FDA approved right now. And that's, you know, we see that kind of thing happen from time to time at the edges of innovation, where, you know, we want to balance out this want to have very disciplined, very um, well-designed clinical studies that will prove that a treatment works and that it's safe before we approve it for sale to consumers. Right. Um, and yet, on the other hand, scientifically and clinically, we know that these things oftentimes work. Um, so Bartolo, you know, went um, went offshore for a stem cell treatment for his shoulder injury, um, and it would seem as though that that's you know that that's the key that has been the key to the longevity of his career and to his comeback. Um, we're working in a way to leverage that same kind of science and yet bring it to consumers in a way which is FDA approved and and has the proven science behind it to show um, its efficacy and, and, and have stable science behind it. What do they do? They inject it directly into the tendon? How does that work? Yeah, so, uh, you know, I can speak, I can speak, uh, you know, for ourselves. We actually take a, a small biopsy from the back of the patient's head the particular cells that we work with, we're looking for a fibroblast, what's called a fibroblast cell, that's highly um, productive of collagen. So these are cells that build your connective tissue throughout your whole body. And they do that by producing proteins, expressing proteins. And one of the proteins they express is collagen. And so these cells are particularly important to young-looking skin, right? We've all known about the importance of collagen to, um, to young skin. But we also know that your tendons, are particularly um, um, composed of a high degree of, of these collagen strands. So we take these, this, this biopsy from the back of the patient's head, we isolate these cells, we grow millions more of these cells to, to, to strict specification. Um, once we know that we have these cells and enough of these cells, we um, freeze them in the glass vials, and then we ship the glass vial to the doctor where they put it in a syringe and inject it right into the blackest area of the tendon because under ultrasound the black areas in the tendon are those areas which lack um, um, the collagen necessary for a strong and functioning um, tendon and we've seen a really nice restoration of the collagen um, strands in those areas and then the patient's reporting you know wonderful um, restoration of function and, um, and 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 elimination of pain does it work on cartilage does it work on bone does it work on that so you know there are a there are a, 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 a number of companies working on cartilage, um, um, doing some very exciting work on cartilage. Um, there's uh, there's there's companies working on bone. Um, you know, an Israeli company, a European company, come to mind. Both of which have, have done some very exciting work on um, on bone restoration. Um, you know, like I said, we've got kids out there right now with bladders that have been printed using their own um, their own cells. We've reconstructed esophagus. Um, uh, you know, for those people who've lost a, an esophagus in there, you know, you actually take the patient cells, you put them, you, you put them in a, in a, in essentially a, an inkjet printer, um, you know, in a, in an incubator, and you print them out an, an esophagus to specification. 
you know, we are we are at this stage um, where we're doing some extremely exciting things, some of which are already in humans, using to treat humans, um, and others of which are on the brink of on the brink of that, and, and some of which are in very early stages. That's incredible. So, do you think one day any body part will be able to be replicated, printed, and then? And put in a, I, I do, Lee. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've seen video of, uh, you know, some researchers at the University of Texas who have taken a human heart, um, stripped all the cells out of it, and essentially it looks like an onion paper heart, right? You right. know, where it's a, like a translucent, um, you know, um, and and then they start to drip human cells um, on it. Um, actually, it's a, sorry, it was, a, it was a rat heart. Take human cells on it and drip it down, and the cells will form around that scaffold. And introduce it to electricity, and and that that rat heart um, starts to beat. Wow! So I think you know wow. even even as complex as organs, let alone you know bones or um, or tissues. Right. I've got some buddies now working right now on a on a on a on what they call a stem cell spray gun. You basically take um, a strip of the patient's um, um, skin. Um, within hours, uh, they are spraying these cells onto extreme third party uh, wounds um, um, or burns. Right. And seeing um, seeing phenomenal repair of um, of these of these burns, um, you know, basically using a, a spray gun to spray to spray the patient's own cells back onto them. So we're doing some phenomenally exciting stuff, and I think I think the the, the future looks looks very different with this kind of medicine at our avail. Amazing stuff. So may, maybe my uh, my hypothesis that uh, we're going to live to two hundred years, three hundred years down the road is is certainly with it, well within reach. I really think it'll happen. Absolutely. Uh, all right, listen, it's been a pleasure. Where can folks find out more again? Tell everybody the website one more time. Replicel Life Sciences at replicel, R-E-P-L-I-C-E-L dot com. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Good talking to you, Lee. Thank you, Lee. All right, but you have a great